We're live. If you are on the replay, give me a hashtag replay down below. If you enjoy this video at any time, give it a share. Uh, and I will love your face forever. I just want to say hello to everybody on the replay. If you are on the live right now, uh, give me a hashtag live down below. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. And this is going to be a super fun Facebook Live today because we're going to go over um, the 11 different types of content that turn Facebook friends into buyers. Uh, and this is actually part of the Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint program, but I wanted to share it with you guys for free. Um, seriously, if you implement this, you will get a math sales uh, if you have the right friends on your, uh, or if you have the right friends on Facebook. Um, but these 11 posts turn just casual friends into buyers, and we're gonna go over all of them today. So if you are on the live, give me a hashtag live down below so I know you're here. I can see your face. I love you forever. What's up, Paul? Uh, how are you doing? I just need to pull this up here. Um, and happy Monday to everyone. Um, let me know if you went to Funnel Hacking Live. If you did, drop an FHL down below. Um, I unfortunately missed it this year. I was doing a lot of work on the group growth and monetization blueprint. Uh, but I wish I got to go. That would have been awesome. Um, what's up, John? Tasha, thank you for being here. Rich, what's up, buddy? Uh, Paul, Glenn, you guys are awesome. I love your face. Uh, and uh, I'm super excited for this video. Chizzy, what's up? Rich, again, how are you guys doing? Um, and... If you guys have any questions at any time, drop them down below. I'll get them answered. We'll turn this into a little uh, AMA at the end of the live too. Uh, so I just want to get you as much valuable value as possible. Uh, Shane, what's up? John, uh, Augustine, thanks for dropping the hashtag live down below. And Glenn, Ravi, what's up, guys? Thank you for being here. Uh, Carolina, what's up, girl? Um, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Uh, but guys, thanks for being here. We got 50 so far. So I think we're just going to jump into it. Um, and these types of posts work for any business. So whether you're running an agency or an e-com store or you're a coach or a consultant, these types of posts just work. I have been using these and testing these out for the past year and a half to two years or so. Um, and it's helped me grow my Facebook group super quick as well as get a lot of sales. So we made a little over $500,000 um, last year and a lot of it has to do with what I was just posting on my personal profile. Um, so guys, go ahead, um, use these posts. Do not steal them word for word, uh, but these posts just will work. Uh, I hope I, I'm delivering the value on this live here. So if I do, hashtag value down below. Um, if you hear something that uh, is just like, oh my God, I've never thought of that before. Um, just let me know, it really helps me out. Um, and also the more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. Um, but I will stop boring you with the intro and we'll just uh, hop right into it. So there we go. So this is a little spreadsheet um, that I made for uh, the group growth. Event. Um, and uh, I use with uh, with my clients, um, but we have the 11 different types of content here, uh, which are story posts, results posts, video testimonials, written testimonials, influencer attraction, look at me posts, um, short inspirational posts, uh, engagement questions, Facebook Live, paid uh, program posts, um, personal life posts, and recap posts. And let's just hop into the first one. And what's up, John, Nikos, thanks for being here, guys. Um, the first one are story posts. So there are a bunch of different stories that you can tell, and we'll go through um, a few of them here. Um, but the first one that we wanna put out there is our origin story posts, kind of where we started, just putting everything out there, getting super vulnerable, um, and just talking about like, where we began, like the struggles, the hardships, the things we went through. 
Um, I did this post back in December of 2017. It was my first post that like felt like it went viral, right? So we got 359 reactions on this post, 111 comments. Um, and I just talked about like where I started just like being in Chicago and just being super depressed, anxious, like hopeless, all that stuff. Um, and it just, just started out with the first two lines. So the first two lines are so important in any post. So if you guys get anything out of this video today, it's that when you are writing a post on Facebook, you've got to think really hard about your first two lines because that's what's going to um, bring the reader in. If your first two lines suck, nobody is going to read it. Um, if you read the first two lines and you're like, oh, if I was like another person, like if I was scrolling past this on Facebook, these two lines wouldn't bring me in. Then you want to rewrite your first two lines. So here with my origin story post, I said, if you're dealing with doubt, depression, anxiety, hopelessness, anything like that, this is for you, dot, dot, dot. And those are really, really good first two lines. Um, and then I just went into my story. Um, and as you can see, I chop it up line by line by line. Um, and that's because it's just easier to read. Um, people love to scroll and they don't want to see big um, blocks of text. It's just harder on the eyes. So if you can tell a story line by line by line, um, more people will read it, more people will get to the end. Um, and it makes it look longer. So that's pretty cool. Um, Sean saying great. Ravi saying value. Thanks, buddy. So you have an origin story post and that's just getting super deep, super vulnerable, telling people about like where you started and um, kind of where you're at now. So I went into just like all the depression that I went through and like being on Wellbutrin and Lexpro and then losing 25 pounds and being sober for 106 days and like going through all that stuff and building a advertising agency to 10K per month, um, just going through all that. Um, and origin story posts are super powerful. So if you've never written one, um, I highly, highly suggest it, um, doing that this week. Um, again, I write origin story posts every, I would say month or two months or so. I'm just saying, this is where I started. This is like how I got there and this is where I'm at now. Um, and, uh, yeah, just story posts uh first two lines are super important um just going through this is where i was um this is the process of getting there and this is where i'm at now um and just these posts work really really well um do 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 so that is the first one so story posts and then we can go into results posts Um, so results posts are really what bring in buyers. Um, so in this one, um, in uh, I had one of my clients uh, make over 10K and get 100 members in his Facebook group um, in the first day. So he messaged me on WhatsApp and was like, oh my God. Um, so if you just take those screenshots, so of a result of uh, your, your client, or let's say you are using business manager and you got a result in terms of conversions or a bunch of leads in Facebook. Um, you can just take a screenshot of that. And again, the most important thing with these results posts are the first two lines. So hardly anybody is gonna read a bunch of text when it's a results post. So it's super important for um, the result to be in the first line of text. So people see that right away. So hundred group members and a Facebook live that generated over 10 K uh, on day one. So you want to use numbers in your first two lines as well. It's super crucial because people respond to numbers. Um, and then typically in my second line for results posts, um, it's typically about the client. It's been amazing working with whoever they are with Steph, blah, 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 or uh, with June. Um, and then at the end, I always hashtag uh, the program. So I don't use a call to action here. If you use a call to action saying, hey, work with me, here's a link to sign up, um, then a lot more people 
or a lot less people will engage with the post. And what we're trying to do here is get this post to reach as many people as possible. So we don't wanna limit that with a call to action. And actually what will happen here is people will reach out to you in Messenger saying, hey, how can I work with you? That was an amazing result. So um, it's best to just like kind of hashtag the program or hashtag your business instead of saying, hey, work with me, here's the link. And another pro tip here, if you put a link in the post, Facebook will limit the reach of that post. So never put a link to anything besides another like Facebook page. So if you put a link to a YouTube channel in your post, it will it will reach maybe half the amount of people that uh, it would without the link. So if you are providing a link, the best way to do it is ask for people to um, like hashtag something below so they can receive that link or you can also just put it in the comments down below. But the best way to do it is uh, basically say, hey, if you want the link to this video, um, hashtag video down below and I'll get it over to you. That will rack up the engagement and it will also uh, rack up the reach. You will reach a lot more people if you are asking for engagement. So that is number two, results post. If you guys have any questions along the way, I'm happy to answer them at any time. Uh, B day posts have unlimited reach supposed supposedly. Um, I don't know exactly what that means. If you can clarify that Nikos, let me know. Um, so video testimonials, let's go in there. Um, so these are amazing, but a lot of people do these video testimonials wrong. So, um, if you are, if you have any video testimonials, you wanna post them on your personal Facebook page. They are so freaking powerful. So if you have any racked up right now, I highly suggest posting one today on your, on your personal page and seeing if business comes in. Um, if it does, let me know, I'd love to hear it. But when you are posting a video testimonial, it's super important to put the result again, in the first two lines. So what I typically do with these video testimonials is I will put a quote in the first line that has a number in it. So I sold over $8,000 in one weekend for a masterclass in my niche specific Facebook group. So result, she made $8,000 in one weekend. Um, and then I put it in quotes because she said it in the video. Um, you don't want to waste your first two lines with like a story about Jenna first. You just wanna put the result in the first two lines because hardly anybody is actually gonna watch the video, um, but they will read the first two lines. So make sure it's up there. And then what I typically do is say congrats, blah, 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 and then hashtag the, uh, the program. Um, and as you can see, we get pretty good engagement. We get people reaching out. We have people um, in the comments saying, hey, more info, please, those sorts of things. So <clears throat> video testimonials are super freaking powerful. Start posting them on your personal page. If you guys are enjoying this, if this is helping you, uh, give it a heart, give it a like. Uh, more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. Uh, and we will go into the next one. So video testimonials. Do, do, do. <laughs> So written testimonials, what I like to do with written testimonials is actually write a story out for written testimonials um, because typically the result is actually in the picture. So um, in uh, this bad boy, uh, Julian was able to quit his, uh, help his wife quit her job. Um, he signed a client for over 42 or over, no, he said $4,200 a month um, and started another client on a paid trial, which is awesome. Um, and then I told a little story because I had been working with Julian for a couple months and got to know him really well. Um, and I just talked about how he's a crazy action taker and how he pushed himself and how beautiful that is. Um, and when you can tell a story about your client and working with them and how amazing they are, um, it's, uh, it really shows off like how much you care about your clients. Um, so as you can see here, a lot of engagement, a lot of comments. Um, so whenever you can talk about your clients, how amazing they are and like the little things that you know about them, more people will want to work with you. Do, do, do. So 
This one is Ninja AF. Um, if you guys uh, want to hear about this one, give me a hashtag Ninja down below. Um, this is probably one of the coolest posts um, that uh, has helped me expand my network like no other. So if this has been helpful so far and you wanna, uh, if you want to hear about this little ninja trick, hashtag ninja down below. Yay, thank you, Nikos. So this one is freaking awesome. So I expand my network and be connected with the highest people in the game. Um, and I kind of stumbled across uh, this tactic um, on accident. Um, I just made, I think it was, this was one of the first ones I, I did, but this is called the influencer look at me post. Um, and all you gotta do is number one, have a pretty good network on Facebook, like add, add people on Facebook that are pretty high level. Um, and then also add a bunch of people from your target audience Facebook groups. Um, but from there, you can make a simple post of like, um, who's the master at blank? Who's the master at sales funnels? Who's the master at sales? Who's the master at video creation or anybody that you wanna be connected with in those fields? So I wanted to be connected with a YouTuber. Um, so I asked who's a master at growing a YouTube channel, uh, looking to do an interview with somebody in my group on this. And just, just my friends started tagging a bunch of high level people and now they know about me. Now they've seen my profile. And if you have your profile funnel set up correctly, saying exactly what you do and talking about your Facebook group and all that stuff, they will uh, they'll know about you and respect you a little bit more. Um, and then actually talking to them in Messenger becomes a lot easier because now they know you. So um, what actually happened here is Tanner J. Fox uh, actually commented on it and he has over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. Um, and then also my buddy, Nick Robbins was like, dude, you need to do an in interview with Tanner. He's awesome. And what happened from there is I reached out to Tanner and said, Hey, I like Nick Robbins is my boy. Apparently if he's saying this about you, uh, you like, it'd be a really awesome interview. Are you down? He said, yes, we did the interview. Uh, it was really, really good. And then um, at the end of the interview, he was like, yo, um, come out to LA, like come out to, it wasn't LA, it was California. Uh, anytime that you're out here, um, let me know and I'll help you blow up your YouTube channel. Um, and I actually got to go over to his house the other day um, and sit in his Lamborghini and all that stuff. Um, and uh, we're actually gonna do a little uh, collab together. So these posts are super freaking powerful with helping you expand your network. If you're growing a Facebook group at the same time, or if you have a podcast or something and you can leverage your audience to get people on an interview, you can expand your network like no other. So just ask your audience, like who is the master at blank? So um, these posts are super ninja, work really well and it can expand your network super quick. So those posts are awesome. Um, and we are five types of content into this so far. If you guys are enjoying this, give me a hashtag value down below. Um, and uh, just wanna know that is helping you guys out. I wanna see you guys expand your audience as big as possible um, and start selling to them as soon as possible. And these 11 posts are the best posts that you can put on your uh, personal Facebook page to turn your friends into buyers. Um, so short inspirational posts work really, really well. We always wanna inspire our, our audience um, and uh, just help them believe in themselves. Um, so short one here, uh, I think I kind of, uh, this is kind of a quote that I made and then kind of like a mixture between a bunch of other quotes. I think this is an Albert Einstein quote up top, but a little bit different. I don't know. It just sounded super inspirational. So I posted it and then like use a really good picture and uh, a lot of people engage with it. 
So usually like quotes with a really good picture works really, really well. Because what we're trying to do is inspire our audience and also get massive engagement so more people see our stuff. And the more times we post, um, the, more the more we will stay top of mind. So we're kind of trying to Donald Trump affect our personal Facebook page. Um, and what I mean by that is like, you don't necessarily have to be the best in the game, but if you show up more in front of your audience, then more people will buy from you. And then you might become president when you shouldn't be. Um, but uh, let's move on from that. Um, engagement questions. Do, do, do. Let's see which one I put here. <laughs> Math. Don't you work with Mike? Glenn, what do you mean by that? I don't know. Mike, who? Let me know. There. Are... Okay. Uh, here is another super duper ninja trick uh, for you guys. So, if you are trying to find your ideal clients, like who you're friends with, and like um, you want to know who like is on your friends list, who might be your ideal client. So, I work with a bunch of course creators. So I wanna know who in my network is a course creator um, and just told them to drop a link down below um, in the comments. So if you, are, um, uh, if you are working with coaches and consultants, you can say, hey, who's a coach or consultant here? Drop your website down below. I'm interested in checking it out, something like that. Um, and that's pulling out your ideal client. What you can actually do is just make sure that you follow up with them in Messenger. Um, and in GGMB, Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint, we have um, uh, uh, messages that you can send to um, your ideal clients to get them on a phone call and ultimately buy from you. So if you're trying to pull out your um, ideal client, just like make a post, um, an engagement question post saying, hey, who's a coach or consultant here? Let me check out your website, super interested. Um, and then you know these people are your ideal clients, pretty cool. Uh, get out of here. Um, do, do, do Facebook lives. Um, I've never said I'm the master at Facebook lives. Uh, a lot of my uh, posts are just like copy. Um, I don't do too much selling on Facebook lives. However, that is, that might change in the future, but Facebook lives are super important for you to become more intimate with your audience. So here I just did a Facebook live 10 months ago when I was living in Clearwater and just basically saying, Hey, I want to share the view with you all. So the more you can go on Facebook live, the better. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that works really well. Another ninja trick for you. Boop, 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 boop. So I didn't, the first time I posted this type of post, I wasn't expecting anything from it. I was just like looking at the inside of my course and was like, damn, that looks sexy. So I took a screenshot of it, posted it on my personal page. and was like, this is just so sexy. And what actually happened is three people bought the program from that post. Somebody commented, hey, can you send me the link? I posted the link in the comments and then three people bought. I have no idea why this works. Maybe it's just people see the inside of the course and they're like, holy crap, that looks amazing. I wanna buy it. Um, but like on this post, I think we got two or three sales just from posting the inside of the course um, and saying it looks so sexy. Do not know why it works, but it works really well. So you guys can take it, steal it, um, and start making sales that way. Do, do, do. If you guys are enjoying this, give me hashtag value down below. We'll keep it coming. Do, do, do. So personal life posts. Um, you want to keep people constantly updated on personal life and kind of the things that you, you were doing to make yourself a better person and um, show people that you're striving for greatness. So I gave up caffeine for um, six months and uh, I had a little counter on my phone, took a screenshot of it and simply said, wahoo, mission accomplished. 
So it doesn't need to be a long story or anything like that. Just keep keep people updated on what's going uh, on in your personal life. And then here's another ninja thing that I like to do. They're called recap posts. So every month, every two months uh, or so, um, do a recap post on what has happened in your life. Um, so in this one, uh, I just said, remember the first two lines are super crucial. So I said the last couple of months uh, involved a world, whirlwind of emotions, but some pretty cool stuff has happened. So then I listed off the cool things that have happened. So it's a little bit of business, a little bit of personal life. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just list that stuff off. So Facebook group growth, um, uh, students actually getting results. Um, and then, um, uh, and then I became an uncle that month. So that was pretty cool. Put the picture there and works really, really well. Uh, it's just so sexy. I love it. But, uh, those are the 11 different types of content, um, that, uh, turn, uh, Facebook friends into buyers. What you really, really want to focus on are your story posts. Um, and getting your origin story out there. If you guys are just joining us now, you can watch the replay in the Facebook group um, and check out those origin story posts. I showed you a couple examples at the beginning. Um, those are crucial, getting vulnerable with your audience. When you can get vulnerable, it adds trust and trust can lead to sales. Um, so you wanna put that out there. Um, your results posts. So if you are, I know there are a lot of Facebook ads agencies in this group. Um, if you have screenshots of business manager or um, the inside of your funnel, like this uh, stats in there, um, post those up. Just talk about the result um, from those campaigns. Those will get you sales. Video testimonials will get you sales. Written testimonials will get you sales. The, if you focus on those four things, it is so freaking powerful. Also, you wanna do some trainings on your personal profile. I do more trainings in my Facebook group and we go over that um, in the weekly content calendar for Facebook groups. Um, but if you do not have a Facebook group, start doing trainings on um, your personal Facebook page. And a little ninja trick that you can do here is um, you do a training, let's say on um, how to convert a lead into a sale. So giving um, local business owners like sales scripts or something like that um, in this video. So do a training that's like 10, 15 minutes long, giving the local business owner sales scripts. Um, and then when you meet a local business person or local business owner in person um, and the deal doesn't close right then and there, say, hey, I created this video um, that goes over the three steps to converting a lead into a sale. Um, do you wanna be tagged in that post? Typically they will say yes. You tag them on your personal Facebook page in that post and then what they do from there is they scroll. So they'll scroll, scroll your personal Facebook page um, and hopefully they'll come across video testimonials and written testimonials and all those things and ultimately they will buy from you. So use your personal Facebook page as a sales page. So if you do that, you will get a lot more sales add the right friends to your personal Facebook page um, and uh, your business can blow up overnight. Um, boom, we'll go back here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions right now, let me know. Um, we'll turn this into a little AMA at the end. Um, and this was awesome, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for giving me the hashtag ninja and value and all that good stuff. Uh, Wes, Kevin, Luke, uh, Rupesh, thanks for being here, guys. Um, this is so freaking valuable. Um, turning your personal Facebook page into um, uh, into a sales page, it just, it works. You'll get a lot more sales if you just do these posts um, and set up your profile funnel. Um, what's up, Austin? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Did you go to FHL? Who went to FHL here? Let me know. This is definitely awesome. Thanks, John. I know you're an agency owner, so um, start using it, especially those video testimonials posts will work really, really well for you. Um, uh, and I know you have a lot of video testimonials because you do some kick-ass work, John. 
what course of yours would you recommend to an insurance agency? Um, I would recommend the Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint. Um, it is single-handedly the best program for organic growth hacking in terms of growing your audience organically without a dollar in ad spend um, and also creating uh, an online course. I show you exactly how to create an online course um, so you have that asset for uh, your insurance agency um, that you can either uh, that you could downsell uh, your clients to. Um, and when you have a course, an online course, uh, that you can scale to the moon, it just makes your business so much more profitable. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. Awesome. Yeah, I wish I could have been there. Guys, if there aren't any more questions, um, I'm going to go. Uh, if you didn't catch all 11 types, watch the replay. Uh, smash the fuck out of that heart button. Smash the fuck out of that like button. Um, but this is super duper valuable content. Do not take this lightly. Um, make these posts on your personal profile and you will make a lot, a lot of money. Um, just tell, when you get a result, tell people. That's the biggest uh, place where people screw up is like they get a result, but nobody hears about it. Um, so if you can get results, post about it, um, then you will make a lot more sales. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and uh, yeah, guys. Um, I'm going to be bringing more content your way uh, in terms of growing your Facebook group, creating online courses, because that's what's helped me um, help me big time. Just totally, totally changed my life um, from an agency owner that was like kind of burning out um, to uh, helping people in a coaching setting um, and being able to scale with an online course. So, yeah, guys. Um, that's about it for this video, but I will see you guys in the next one. Um, and I appreciate all 26 of you guys that are on here live with me now. Uh, if you found it valuable, hit that heart button, hit that like button. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the Facebook group, hit me up. Um, if, uh, if you just want to chat and, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for being here and, uh, I'll see you in the next